This is uh, this idea came from County Newport, so or at least he popularised it. He um, was the first guy I came across who coined the term high quality leisure activity. So by high quality leisure activity, it's uh, a hobby, it's a pursuit, it's some form of leisure. So the first important thing about it is that you're not paid for it. It's not like your day gig, so you're not being you know there's no there's no money coming in for it. So you're doing it primarily out of a sense of joy and satisfaction that it brings you. So this podcast counts. Yeah, yeah. Well, for me, it counts. <laughs> <laughs> like until those checks start rolling in for me, this is just pure high quality leisure activity. That's right. And Matt will be uh, giving his bank account details for those who feel sorry for him right now. All so, right. So going. that's the first thing. Um, secondly, it's going to involve some effort, right? So a high quality leisure activity isn't just vegging out. So I like to kind of think about this in the, in, in the sense that it's something that where you're actively creating or developing something as opposed to just consuming something, right? So that's like the second kind of element of high quality leisure activity. Um, and thirdly, you can do it with other people, right? So it can be a social activity as well. So it's, you know, it's some kind of skill development. Maybe it's something, again, that you're kind of, you're focused at a little bit. It may involve you kind of like getting into that much talked about flow state as well. But it brings you like a sense of competency, mastery, joy, fulfillment. Okay. So the other kind of way that I think about it is that after you've done the high quality, le like leisure activity, you're not going to feel like down on yourself or regretful or just dirty, which is how often I feel if I've like binged too much Netflix, for example. You know what I mean? Mm. So, and so you can distinguish between the high quality and the low quality. Usually, I'd say, usually the low quality involves some kind of digital medium. Mm. And again, it's very much you can check out, it doesn't engage you, it doesn't demand much in terms of your attention or your effort and again afterwards you will bereft of that sense of joy or fulfillment you don't really feel like you kind of you've, you've spent the time well it's, it's just like it's simple it's easy to eat yeah. it's, it's like it's, it's like digital yeah. digital junk food but sure. you walk away going oh, I don't feel nourished or refreshed yeah. Yeah, that's I don't right. feel energised yes. and actually it, it, it hasn't made me feel like I've got the energy yes. for the next mm -hmm. you know, work day yeah. uh, I just kind of killed time yeah yeah that's right killed time slash Wasted time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Slash wasted time. Yeah. So examples. That's not all bad because sometimes it's good yeah. to waste time and to do kind of mindless stuff. You just don't want it to be the majority of how you spend your leisure, right? Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, I think so. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. 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 I think so. Although, like, to be honest with you, if, if I like stop and think, okay, when was the last time that I really, 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 really had to binge like Netflix? Mm. You know, because I'd say that's different from, like, say, engaging with on a sporadic basis, a really like a, like a good TV show, for mm. example, or yeah, movie, okay. a movie that you want to watch and that you'll appreciate and that maybe will even will like help you grow as a person. Actually, and that's true. And when I, you know, when I am brain dead and yeah. I watch a movie or watch a good quality show, it's always with my wife or family or someone that I care about. Yeah. So there's a kind of a relational component and I suppose that increases the quality of that activity yeah. as long as it's not what we do all the time. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's right. That, like, as opposed to, you know, because you hear about this happening, you know, uh, one person in a partnership is watching their screen and their show and they're side by side with the yeah. other partner watching their own show yep. in tandem. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So, so like, what's an example? Yeah, okay. So, in my own life? Yeah. Yeah, so I enjoy brewing beer with friends. Hmm. Yeah, so uh, specifically... I enjoy drinking your brewed beer. <laughs> yeah, that's a, yeah, thanks. It's kind of you to say. So, uh, yeah, so... Um, Probably like say once every couple of months, mm. three or four of us will get together. We've got it's it's very kind of ritualized. It's all very hands on. You know, we brew our beer from scratch. I'll put on some records. I've got a record player, so I put on and that just kind of adds that analog versus digital feel. And you've got to listen to it like an entire side at a time because no one can be bothered like pick up the needle and putting on a separate track and that kind of stuff. So again, it, you know, it lends itself to paying like greater attention. Um, so that's something that I enjoy. Um, I enjoy uh, I enjoy doing jujitsu. Not very good, but I enjoy that, and that's very much like an embodied, completely non-digital pastime. Hmm. You know, because you, like, you're not even wearing a watch, for example, when you're doing that. Yeah. So they're two things that I enjoy, and then occasionally I enjoy cooking. 
Okay. Again, like, you know, because it demands something of me in terms of my attention and my focus. There's just like a little bit of effort. Can do it with or for other people. Mm. Always feel better afterwards. So, so for me, look, I'm, I'm introverted. I, so it's usually physical for me. I like walking. Yeah. I love being outdoors in nature. Yeah. Uh, I will. But going to the gym is, mm-hmm. is a high quality leisure activity for me. I, I, there are times where I'll listen to a podcast and, and really enjoy getting information. But there's times mm. where I just don't have anything and I let my brain wander yeah uh yeah and swimming is another one you know maybe riding a bike yeah um or playing a board game actually playing okay. cards yeah or playing chess with yeah. my kids which yeah. is great yeah uh yeah so those kind of activities would would count for me yes as high quality yeah. activities and ones that i don't naturally want to do or or it takes a bit more effort to yeah, get going I think, on yeah yeah that's a better yeah, yeah. but then I feel better afterwards that's exactly I mean, right? yeah 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 that's right that's right so again there's some element of you know strain for want of a better term mm. I think some element of having to pay attention mm. some degree of effort so it's not completely vegging out it's not mindless but mm. again like you said before it actually re-energizes you to some degree afterwards and you feel better for it yep okay yeah. so our productivity challenge yes. or our kind of practical activity because mm-hmm. we want every episode to lead to some type of practical change yeah. Uh, where you practice recapturing your attention and actually from a neuroplastic point of view, just practice having a little bit less internet practice, so unplugging a little bit more Mm -hmm. and then re-firing up maybe old circuitry or old wiring in the brain that actually gives you a lot of joy and pleasure but you Mm -hmm. might be neglecting because of the kind of the trade-off that you've had. And so in this example, what we'd like you to do is select one Mm -hmm. high-quality leisure activity, not something new because I don't want you to have to go out and buy equipment and research on Google or YouTube for the next 10 hours yeah. like I just pick something that you do occasionally or that you have done in the past yes that you have a certain level of skill in it mm-hmm. at least you could just pick it up and get going right now yeah that's uh, it. if it can be with others that's great so the first step is to make a phone call or a text mm-hmm. someone and say hey do you want to do this on Thursday night or if it's by yourself well then pick a time and a place so you've got an action trigger that we talked about last time yep so spend one hour in the next week yes before the next episode yeah trading maybe an hour of low quality digital activity for high quality leisure yeah that's right that's right okay and ideally if you can do it without any digital connection or Hmm. devices around you as well yeah okay if you can go unplugged that's if you can go unplugged do it unplugged okay 